Welcome everyone, this is Will K Mac Vintage. Um, I'm back today with another video. I did one this morning about the um, Mac 128 uh, part 2. I did release part 1. Um, that video is of me replacing some memory and so forth. It's over an hour. Um, it has no audio. I'm sorry for that. Something went wrong with my audio system and it did not record the audio. And I'm hoping this one is recording the audio because earlier today I also had a little bit of problem with some audio. But um, let's see what happens. Anyway, um, part two of that video also talks about the analog board and so forth. Um, I, I'm going to do another video on it, a part three, but just to let you all know, I um, the 128 is fully functioning. Uh, well, I got one small little detail that I need to fix, but... It's got bong, the analog board is fixed, the logic board is fixed. Um, well, the bong comes and goes right now, so I'm going to do an ultrasonic cleaning on the board, on, on the logic board. And then also the other issue is any, any mouse I plug into it, the button on the mouse doesn't seem to want to work. So I got to see what that is. Anyway, uh, this video here, what it is for is a classic 2. That I picked up that uh, I got yesterday. Um, it's been on the island since I. Um, it's been on the islands while I was away, um, but I picked it up yesterday. So I I got that machine. I got a classic two, and I got a CX. Um, both of those are not working. Um, so. I'll, I plug them in to see what's happening, and I get I get nothing um, on the classic. On the CX, um, I get a click noise from the PSU. So it could be the PSU, it could be the board, but I'll get to that. I'll get to that later. So right now I have in front of me the board of the class, the actual classic two board. This is it here under the scope. Uh, this is the classic two. Um, it's got it's got the four ROMs. One, two, three, four. Um, I, I guess I can do it from the top here. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, here it is. Just a few. Sorry, my coffee cup is sitting right there too. So this is the classic two board. So we're going to take off these caps, um, it does have cap leakage everywhere and it looks pretty dirty. Um, doing a basic look at it, I think there might be some broken traces. So we'll take a look at that and, and as you see, um, I have the caps ready for it. So we'll see what we can do with it. So let's get to it and take off these caps in part one of this video. There are 13 caps to take off and then on part two I'll clean it and I'll put them back so let's go to the scope view and with my scope now um, I made it I, it's a lot better now that basically what you see is also what I see well, what I see is what you're gonna see so um, the work area is just about the same I mean, I see a little bit more than what you have on the screen there, but uh, it's a lot better than it, than it was. So, anyway, uh, this board uses two one, one microfarad 50 volt caps. It uses eight uh, 10 microfarad 50, um, 16 volts. And it uses uh, three 47 16 so we'll start by taking these off. I will use the hot air um, together with my shields. Wow, I don't understand why the CPU is so high, the percentage when I've got a, I put in a high-end NVIDIA graphics card in there. Maybe it's not configured correctly yet. Anyway, so I... All right, let's put some shields here so I don't melt plastic. And try to get these four off. Okay, 
ready for some smells and some pops. I'm thinking this is a very early classic two board because it has a botch wire running from an egret pin over to the um oh, they don't tell me which one it is i'll run into the via run into the actually eagle chip yeah there's a botch wire and i was factory put on and then also on the bottom on the bottom there is a um resistor there's a resistor on rom 4 one of the legs going to a capacitor okay those four are off I'm these four. There's no battery bomb on this board, but I do think there's some traces that are bad, especially right here. Um, this is a bad spot. This actually group of um, capacitors here always impacts the actual audio. Those first four that I took off already, those impact the actual memory because right below them is the memory. Now let's go get the one that's right between two pieces of plastic. The one that's right by the battery compartment and the and the floppy. Right there. Um, I can zoom this out a little bit, but then I, I'll need to focus. Okay, there you go. You can see a bit better now. It's right between the floppy connector back here and the battery compartment. So I got a new Barlow lens for the microscope and I got a new adapter uh, magnify, less magnifier for the camera. Um, that and with that also um with those two on there it helps and the adapter has its own focus also oh this one's smelling bad get that off i don't want to stay near that plastic too long okay then the next ones are back here we have four of them back here Turn this a little bit different. These things are hot, so I don't want to pick them up. You can see, right? Yeah, okay. Let's do it off.
trying to go in a different angle so I don't melt things. So very hard to try to get in here. Yeah, I'm trying to do it where then I'm not blowing air into the into the jack. There we go, we got them all off. And I think we didn't melt anything. Alright, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen caps have been taken off. Alright. What? Why this computer is acting up? I loaded it up with memory put in a high-end graphics card I don't have anything else running I'm popping up something here it's telling me coding overloaded consider turning down video setting or using a faster tool Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this on to the some of these cameras that are not being used. So that dropped it a little bit. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look and see what the trace conditions are. Get you a good focus. Okay. Yeah, I know I still need to clean the pads. I'll do that in a little bit. I don't want to put on a flux right now. The flux is going to make it harder for me to see. Ooh. Ugh. That's one black looking trace. Y'all see that? Y'all see that trace, how black it went? Alright, I'm focusing more on the trace than on the numbering and the lettering for you to see. Okay, so I do see some traces here I need to check. Okay, I'll come back and and explain what I what I see there.
And over here, I don't really see much, but I don't like how this memory looks. How those, but maybe the older Sonic will clean that. This is the area here. Here, because where these four trace, where these, where these four caps are, literally is right here by the memory. This is a memory chip right here, and it always leaks and it gets onto the onto these pads and these legs on both sides. And right next to it, there's actually another chip, another memory chip, and it does the same thing. So here. So you see the four pads, and you can see the two memory chips right there. Right below it, there are two more memory chips. Okay, so, but here I don't really see. I just see a lot of gunk and dirt on these chips. I mean, on these pads and between the chip legs, you can see that there. I mean, I see a lot of that, but. Here, I don't really see any issue with traces. Now, going here. I'm very worried about this one. Okay. Bit worried about this one here. And then this one here too. But then both of these go below other capacitors. So that's why I'm worried about it because this one here goes between the two and below it. If it leaked, it got everywhere, and this one is right on the outside of it. So that's what worries me here. So far, it looks good. Yeah. You look okay. Let's do. Continuity test. Uh, this one's from here to this chip. We're good. This one is from here to here. We're good. We're good. Good. We might have gotten this just in time. All the stones are good. Okay. Let's move on. Let's go take a look at this one here by the floppy. A gunk here, that's all I really see. Oh, a lot of gunk between them. I think when I put this in the ultrasonic cleaner, I'm going to let it soak a little bit first. I mean, I already put it in the cleaner once, but I, I just didn't let it soak or anything.
Okay, so there we're okay. I'm not too concerned. Up here now we have some more traces. How's my CPU usage? Still high. I need to check this OBS. Something's not right. A bit of melting there. I really don't see anything that I would consider trace damage. This is that botch wire that was on here already, so I'm not going to trouble that. On my other classic board, I had an issue with a trace underneath the battery. That was for the actually reset. And then I had also a problem with um, something from the SCSI. Something from the SCSI, from the SCSI chip that went over to the... See, this has got the swim. It went from the SCSI to the... Um, to the eagle chip see this is this this here is the scuzzy so i had something wrong in a tree somewhere here that came down and then went to the eagle chip okay folks so we have the caps off i don't want to make the video very long um because number two is going to be pretty long with the cleaning and that but i do need to figure out what is happening with my video recording here why this is Taking up so much of your resources. Recording overloaded. Consider turning down video settings. So, okay. I'll have to see what's causing this. I'm not sure what it is, but we will see. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, and then we, I'm going to fix my problems. And then we will do video two later. And I'll be back. Right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.